I will be the first to happily admit I absolutely love my PlayStation 5. I'm so happy I have a PlayStation 5. So of course, I watched the PlayStation Showcase and I've got opinions. I'm also just super excited for what's to come. So let's review my top four games. Welcome back to my corner of the internet and today we're gonna to talk about some of the beautiful games we got to see at the PlayStation Showcase. These are in no particular order, but feel free to tell me your favorite ones down in the comments below. First game on the list is Sword of the Sea. This game looks amazing. From surfing through ruins to petrified battlefields, the mixture of skating and exploration is sure to be absolutely delightful. This game also is made by Giant Squid, who is known for Abzu and the Pathless. And of course, Journey. There is not a set date for this game, but just the visuals have me so excited and it looks to be another peaceful exploration game with a lot of incredible story behind it. As a cat mom, I'm a little bit of a sucker for games with cats as we all found out with Stray, so I'm excited for this next game. We're talking about Revenant Hill, a game where you play as Twigs the cat who owes rent to an owl after they move into a log. There's a lot to do in this game from making friends to learning to write and seeing the world while making ends meet. The art style is quirky and really neat, honestly. Again, no release date and no rating from the ESRB. I'm still excited for this game. Now, game trailers don't normally make me cry, but I think I finally have an exception. Neva is from the creators of Grizz, and this game looks absolutely stunning and heartbreaking. With a setting inspired by the pandemic, social unrest, and climate change, this rapidly dying world is still beautiful. With a story focused on the relationship between the main character and the young wolf, I'm so excited to see how the story plays out. Plus, when I was a kid, I very much was a platform gamer, so I'm very happy playing any type of platformer, and I know this game's gonna make me fall in love with it even more between the story and just the fact that it's a platformer. So I say top four of this list because I feel like Spider-Man 2 is on everyone's top list. So I'm kind of ignoring it for other games. Can't blame me. I'm very excited for Spider-Man 2, but I know everyone else is too. But next on our list, we have Marathon from Bungie. This is their newest project in more than a decade. However, it is a revival of a game from the 90s. The original game takes place several centuries into the future in outer space and sets the player as a security officer attempting to stop an alien invasion aboard a colony ship named the Marathon. This new version of the game, though, is not a remake. It's not a sequel. It's a PvP extraction shooter. You get to customize your players' characters or runners, and players can change the shape of the game by unlocking new areas. While not quite cozy and cute, this game looks so exciting and can be an incredible spin on the PvP extraction games on the market. Plus, the whole sci-fi space theme makes me really excited for it. For me, that's my top four games. Please let me know what your top games from the PlayStation Showcase are in the comments below. I'm really excited to hear about those. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you want to keep seeing more videos from me. There'll be ones out every Friday and probably Monday. Oh, and check out some of the other videos I already have, because why not? They're already made. They're easily available to you. But until then, bye.